Hey, I just wanted to show something that I just realized today because the uh, the sunflowers they're pretty much done they're all leaning down and I just thought of something because I don't know it seems like a storm's brewing but anytime it would rain now these seeds <clears throat> they're not gonna get wet I just realized that because these are all down they're all pointed down to the ground they're all looking down it looks like they're looking down and all the water is just gonna run off the top and run off over the sides here and the seeds won't get wet because if they got wet they would start to sprout and they're not ready for that it, it wants to it wants to hold on to those seeds because if they sprout now it's gonna die before it has any chance to grow before winter and so the seeds are gonna stay dry just staying on the plant like that I'm gonna harvest these pretty soon there's all those they're all ready and I really I'm getting thousands of seeds off of a packet of about 50 seeds <laughs> Uh, of sunflowers which is just amazing thousands of seeds I've already cut a couple off and given them to chickens but it's just I just thought that was a neat feature that God built into the sunflower it's gonna keep the seeds dry that's just awesome okay the green beans didn't really take off but they grew enough to give us a few green beans so there's some little dinky ones on here I'm gonna pick this one it looks ready I'm just going to taste that because, oh, and that's delicious. Sweet, crisp. Yeah, there's not a lot down here. There's a nice little sunflower. Twinkle, you're not letting me get my whole video. I'm trying to get a good angle for that sunflower. Come on. Oh, get your leg here. Come on. Twinkle. Twinkle. Come on. Hey. Woof. Hey. Come on. Yeah, come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Twinkle. Come on. Here's another plant that's somewhat producing. The other day, I wish I would have gotten a video right away, but this is a zucchini plant that I actually planted straight from a packet. It didn't come from one of those transplants from the uh, leftover pumpkins from last year. And, oh good, I have a couple, okay, right here, you can see the zucchini forming. The flower's still on the end of it. But I think there's another one here yeah, look at the stem of this flower, how thick that is. That, that's going to be another zucchini. So in a day or so, that flower's going to open up and get pollinated and be another zucchini. That's awesome. I think there's even one forming here. That flower kind of has a chunky stem, different than the other flowers. The, uh, of the zucchini plants and, and, and other pumpkins and squash plants, that whole family. They have male and female flowers. In fact, I might be able to open up and show the difference here. This one's a male flower. And if I just open this up here, you'll see. It has a little, you can actually see the pollen on there a little bit. It's all crumb, looks like, look crumbly and whatever. And the flower on this one looks very different. has all these little bunch of different ends on it and every squash flower every every one looks different every type of squash flower looks a little bit different I think my video is looking upside down here I'm not sure and yeah I have a little pumpkin sitting there it's October so I have a little pumpkin decoration but this squash plant just kind of took off the others I had two more squash plants zucchini plants specifically I had two others here. One I think got stepped on, it kind of fizzled out, and the other one here didn't, just didn't get very big. I think it, uh, this, this tree shaded it for a little bit, a little too much. I'm going to get to use my rain gauge and see how much rain I'm getting. It's, it's just starting to rain, it's starting to sprinkle, so I'm going to get Twinkle <laughs> inside. Come on Twinkle, it's starting to sprinkle. Let's go. 
I'm gonna get our I'm gonna get we gotta get the peeps inside too. They've been having their days out and they're starting to love it and get used to the routine and come out. So I'm gonna get those in. I'm gonna do that right now. These guys got huge. They're about to outgrow their brooder here. Okay, it started raining. I got all the peeps in. But then I went and checked the mail. And I saw something from Edible Acres. My Comfrey's here. Comfrey is just this really awesome, uh, really good plant that a lot of people that do uh, this permaculture gardening, and especially for back to Eden. I'm, 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 Excited to include it in that, but it's got a lot of extra nutrients when you chop and drop it. It really, it's got these uh, bunch of purple flowers that attract a lot of pollinators. So Twinkle, you gotta do your business, then we can go inside, okay? Cause it's raining. It calmed down actually, it was raining pretty hard. I gotta get up here and put this board back up on the chicken's pen. Hello everybody. Somebody else laid an egg on the ground. Why'd you do that? You have a box. Oh well, it's fine there. I'll get it then. <laughs> 